let's go back a bit in history and look what has been there uh, 10 years ago. Search was driven by schedules. You gave a schedule, you got a price, you didn't like the price, you went back to the schedule, so back and forth. 10 years later, you can see significant improvement has been made. There's a matrix calendar with all fair and scheduled data combined. You have the fair classes at the bottom. So that is state of the art for an airline internet website today. But there's one issue to be addressed. What it assumes that the traveler know, knows where he wants to go. What, what if you don't know where you want to go? That is not at all a given. So, there has been another change. Google Map has changed the way people go about, change, uh, about search. Nowadays, people feel very comfortable navigating a map and searching for things. These two uh, things together have made Amadeo think about how we can combine the two and come up with something new and innovative. Dirk, why you don't talk about your experience at your Sure. Well, if you look at our Lufthansa website, you see that it's basically very transaction focused. You have a flight manager where people can enter their origin, destination, their desired travel dates, and hit send, and they will get a schedule and a price with that. In addition, you see, uh, especially on the right side in the quick links, that we're now more and more focusing on pre- and post-flight services, such as online check-in and so forth, um, which significantly adds to the traffic that we get on the website. One thing that we haven't really focused on so far, though, is people that don't know where they want to go. And uh, recent studies actually show that we're talking at about 20% of all people that are searching for travel on the web that don't yet know where they want to go. Another challenge that we're facing that outside of Germany, uh, we're being perceived mainly as a carrier to Germany, but we have a huge route network that we would like to promote, for example, in markets such as the U.S., so, um, therefore, we went to Amadeus and asked them if they could offer us a solution, how we can address those travelers that don't yet know where they want to go whilst showing off our network. Okay, and yes, there is a solution. There is the Amadeus Affinity Shopper. It's a part of our new, uh, our new products from the Extreme Search Engineering. So, let's do a live demo, let's look into what we can do. Dirk, where do you want to go? Sure, first, let me fly from Frankfurt, which is my hometown, and uh, let's see, I think I saved up enough money to go on a nice long trip. Uh, don't want to spend quite a thousand euros, but let's see what I get for slightly under 1,000 euros. For a thousand euros, you can go many places. Can you be a bit more specific, Dirk? I think I want to go to North America. So, there are many locations. Can you say which one you want to go? Sure. Can you be more specific? I think I'll go to the US. Let's see what we have there. Hmm. I think Florida looks nice. After the winter here in Germany, I could really go someplace warm. Nice warm. Let's see. Okay, so you want to go to Florida. Where? Yeah. Let's see, let me zoom in a bit closer so I can see what's available. Oh, Orlando sounds great actually, I haven't been there in <coughs> ages. So, you want to go for, uh, to Orlando for less than 1,000 euro? Yeah. So, there, um, actually he didn't tell us when he wanted to go, so an assumption has been taken, he's actually traveling in March. The bar chart shows you the prices at different dates. Um, you can see that at the end of March, it's Easter vacation in Germany, the prices are significantly higher, so we can see effective yield management. And this is no forecasting, it's based on real fares, real data from Lufthansa and Amadeus. So you can also extend the stay from eight days to two weeks, and you want to do that. So there are many more filtering scenarios that can be applied. So Doug, why we don't do another one? Sure. Let's what do you want to do this time? Let's see what we have available from Munich, our second hub in Germany. Fine, this time Munich. Where do you want to go? 